the tattooed penis got clipped in Iran by some rugby player guy. Listen, I'm gonna let you know from the jump, I have no idea who this Paul Gallen guy is, but apparently he's some rugby player. I just put on the fight and watched it, man. So yeah, Lucas Brown stepped in there. He was looking crazy. He was looking old as hell, as slow as possible. Big Daddy was looking more like Big Mommy. He was looking half dead, basically. He was looking like he was struggling to walk. He took him like a, a second and a half to take one step. It was horrible. So yeah, he stepped in there. He's trying to stalk this guy with some weird looking jab thing, poked his hand out. Um, the the rugby player was just trying to you know trying to trying, trying to feel him out trying to see what Big Daddy got to offer, which wasn't much. Big Daddy was looking slow out there. So Brown had um, Gallen cornered, throwing some slow right hooks, trying to catch him with some right hooks. Gallen kept ducking. He ducked about two right hooks, then he spun around from the corner and he caught Lucas with some with his own right hook. Lucas tried to shake it off like that didn't hurt him, but fair play to Gallen, he he kind of recognized that. Hmm, I think that actually did hurt him. So he returned with further right hooks, and then one caught Lucas. That definitely Lucas could not disguise that hurt. He was definitely hurt. That wobbled him a little bit, and Gallen he swarmed him. He threw, he threw bums, and then down went Lucas Brown. The referee stepped in, gave him the count. Lucas beat the count. The fight was over from there to be honest but Lucas got up he took center of the ring um, he tried to trade well at this age he doesn't have any choice he can't it's not like he can, get, he can get on his bike and try and recover or anything like that he doesn't have any feet on him you know so he took center of the ring he stood right there tried to trade with Gallen which was a recipe for disaster they traded and um, Gallen caught him again Lucas backed up on the ropes and yeah <laughs> Gallen just destroyed him fight was done big daddy was face down on the canvas he stood up and the referee <laughs> he stood up he actually stood up at the count of 10 he was like yo ref why you stop the fight man what the hell <laughs> he was wobbly as he was speaking to the ref as well like hey come on big daddy Just, yeah give it a rest fight's done so yeah fight's over big daddy loses to you i'm i'm sure i'm i listen i'm not doing no research this guy's a rugby player i'm sure he's never had a fight before so yeah big daddy lost to a, a debutant really so yeah that's kind of horrible um but here's one thing here's one thing i'm going to make a prediction yeah if lucas brown doesn't retire after this fight i guarantee you we're going to see him fighting in the uk within the, the next year lucas is going to be fighting someone in the uk <laughs> <laughs> who's it gonna be put put your predictions down below who do you think luke is gonna be fighting and no he's not retiring well i don't think so anyways he's, he's been calling out all sorts of people remember he called that tyson fury last year when um when fury was looking for a december opponent lucas said he was gonna fill in hey, um yeah wake up this morning to the awesome news that uh Tyson Fury is possibly looking at myself as the number one candidate for a fight in December. Um, the Fury and Wilder fight is no longer happening, uh, so he wants to have some sort of warm-up fight before the Joshua fight. Now, if that is me, I'd be more than willing to jump in. It'd be an absolute honour to jump in the ring with uh, the Gypsy King, who I believe is one of the best uh, heavyweights on the planet at the moment. Uh, in saying that, wouldn't it be awesome for me to... Uh, knock him out and uh, have all his fans hate me at the same time so yeah that's, that's something that i would absolutely love to happen um as i said it would be an absolute honor for me to share the ring with him um i will be going in there to knock him out uh, I, plan. I could be losing 11 rounds and still knock me out with one punch in the court and that is why i'm always going to be dangerous no matter what so i could look like i'd be losing a fight and still knock you out um Tyson Fury, yeah, thank you very much for the consideration. I do hope it uh, comes off. I am training and waiting for a fight. COVID has obviously put a stop to a lot of things at the moment, and uh, hopefully this could be something that would really change my life as well. So thank you for the consideration. I do hope it all comes off. Would be an absolute honor. Um, and yeah, I'll be training off and waiting for the phone call. Thank you. So yeah, Big Daddy has been he's been missing um, our little oxygen we provide him over here. You know, he usually likes his trips to to the O2 to get some oxygen. So he's been missing that. So I'm sure at some point in the next year, he's gonna pay us a visit to grab some oxygen and head back to Australia.
it's working that Dylan White um win look bad. <laughs> the the longer he's fighting for Dylan's sake, he's he's yeah, he's not really doing Dylan any favours. Getting knocked out left, right and centre, getting knocked out by Dave Allen, knocked down by Camille Sokolowski. That fight he arguably lost. There was a fight he had I think the guy's name was um Julius Long or something, some Samoan New Zealand heavyweight journeyman and um, I, f I actually, f I think from what I remember, I think I actually felt like Lucas lost that fight, and yeah, he's not the great, and now getting knocked out in a round by a rugby player is, yeah, uh, yeah. Where does it go from here, though? I, I, I highly doubt he's gonna retire. I don't, I don't think he's gonna retire. I've, I've always found this guy quite interesting. The way he speaks and the way, <laughs> the way he behaves, the way he carries himself online is just quite funny. He seems to feel like he's like he's um he's bigger and too big for certain things and he's he's on this on a certain level <laughs> which he isn't he, he's, he's he's been garbage for a very long time but yeah like like for example like i said earlier he had the nerve to put his name forward for the tyson fury fight in december that's just how highly he thinks of himself so this loss is definitely gonna hurt him but i still don't see him retiring i think he's gonna have a few more fights after this that's just, you know, that's just on brand. Big Daddy, he ain't going nowhere. Anyways, um, let me know what you think of everything I said in this video. What you make of Lucas Brown? What you make of the fight? Did you see the fight? What you make of the knockout? Also, if you're from Australia and you know the, the history and the background between these two, how this fight came about, all of that, leave it all down in the comment section. Well, you don't even have to be from Australia. Anyone with just knowledge about this poor Gallon guy, yeah, leave it all down in the comment section below, like the video, subscribe if you're new, slap up the notification bell, and I'm out.